here's my low C TLR 22T 4.0. It's a running project I I purchased. Kind of wanted to do a, some indoor track racing, but uh, yeah, I'm going a different route, so it's up for grabs. Um, we'll come with the Red Dog receiver. AMBRC track to uh, record your track laps. Um, body's still in good good condition. So are the tires. Tires are still in good shape. The RSX2 servo will probably need a gear. Um, it's starting to kind of act a little funny. Comes with the XR10 Hobby Wing uh, Pro. It's 160 amps, I believe. 160A. It's the version uh, version four. It also comes with the. I don't know if you guys can see it. Comes with the Phantom FR1. 13.5 uh, if I'm not mistaken turn motor it's the version 3 Pro um, it runs will need to be programmed so as soon as you, as soon as you turn on the, the RC it just takes off so you have to hold the brake so that will need uh, there will need some programming uh, needed for whatever transmitter and receiver or you're gonna use. The front shocks are leaking a little bit of oil. The rear shock needs the, the shock, the shock uh, cap on the bottom for the spring. And besides that, I mean, the, the chassis has no scratches. It's pretty, pretty excellent and excellent condition. Um, yeah, let me show you what I, what I mean. So, you have to hold the brake. So, as soon as you let the brake go, it just takes off. So, let the brake go. So, yeah. And then, let me just disconnect it. Addressed um, I was gonna put a T plus uh, a Dean the uh, connector on here It was using the bullet style connector so My plan was to put the Dean's connector on here and uh, Just run the just run the adapter from the battery to to the Dean's plug um, besides that, I mean, runs, um, so the ESCN motor run good. The servo will have to either be rebuilt or, uh, replaced. Like I said, the back sh uh, shock, uh, the spring retainer, one of them is missing. Um, everything else is in pretty good shape. Tires are still good. Bodies in excellent condition. Chassis. So yeah. There she is. <laughs>